Good evening. We're Variety Systems. We're going to be selling Blade Rack servers to our friends at Universal Studios here. We're so kind of putting their feet in the desk. Uh, I'm Devin Kunish. The buyer is Steve Snelling with Universal Studios. Outside is our Variety salesperson, Mr. Mike West. Situation, as I said, Universal Studios is building a new studio complex for use on large budget, high CGI involved products. The studio currently uses HP servers, but is building a new studio and should purchase Ferrari for cost, efficiency, space, and quality reasons. All right, we'll go ahead and bring Mr. West in right now, and you guys will see what happens. PowerPoint? No PowerPoint. Okay, let's we'll turn the screen. Got it. Hit high. Hi. Ricky, baby. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Long time. Yeah, yes, I got the fruit cake you sent me. Thanks for remembering my birthday, pal. What's that? Cool? Nah. Ah, we've gone over this a hundred times. Ricky, come on. Every time I walk out my backyard, I'm staring at the world's largest pool. The Pacific Ocean, baby. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Ricky, sorry. My two fifteen's here. I'll get, I gotta get back to you. But, um... Yes, I'll remember. I'll always be close to you. All right. Talk to everybody. All right. See you later. Mr. Stella, how's it going? Uh, Mr. West. Thanks, Sammy. Good to see you as well. I'm well, working on your phone call early, but the secretary said it was okay to come in, and you were in, in the call. They wanted to interrupt, so I called back in. Well, well, there's nothing that couldn't wait, so please help me. Thank you. So, uh, based on our last meeting, uh, of course, I'm from Ferrari, uh, Blade Rack System. And uh, we were wondering if we, if uh, you'd be interested in our product of a Rory Blade Rack system. So, uh, if I could start off, if you mind me asking, who's your current uh, CDI provider right now? Well, here at Universal, we've been uh, currently using HP, and to be completely honest with you, with our new facility we're interested in setting up, we haven't really thought about, you know, changing their service. Uh, the product's been pretty good, so can't really complain there, I guess. Okay, would you mind if I take some notes right now? Right? Uh, do you say? Right. And uh, how's that working? How's it working out for you? Um, like I said, the equipment, I really have no complaints about it. Basically, handled everything we've thrown at it. Um, I mean, the uh, sometimes it can be a little bit slow on you know maintenance and things of that nature, but kind of expect that. And that kind of you know with dealing with such a large company, so it's too company. big a thorn in the side, I guess you could say. Okay, but dealing with a large company, though, I guess maintenance would be. A problem, you know, being in such a big studio as yourself, wouldn't maintenance kind of slow your production down? Absolutely. I mean, uh, we're in the business of making movie magic here. I can't, uh, I can't be putting off weeks of shooting, waiting for, you know, somebody from Dell to come fix our servers. When we got to stick to that schedule, we got to be shooting when we're shooting. We got deadlines to meet. I mean, we got. Just uh, think about what would happen if we had a uh, movie premiere that was scheduled for Memorial Day, and we got to put it off two weeks. I mean, that's like the biggest movie. You know, viewing weekend, weekend right, of the exactly. year. Well, I mean, that's besides, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas. That would kill us. Now, I'm yeah. a big movie girl myself. I look forward to that weekend myself. So I would kind of be disappointed if I had to wait till the following two or three weekends after Memorial Day. You know, so that could be clean for you as well as the consumer, right? So it's disappointment is something we can't have and tolerate here at Universal. Okay. So uh, I was taking a look around, and uh, Lisa showed me your current electronics room, and I noticed it was about two rooms full of uh, electronic equipment. You had one room for uh, actually making your data and another room for storing your data. Oh, uh, yeah, that's correct. At this facility, that's what we're doing. We're actually looking at kind of keeping that same configuration, only expanding it in the new one that we're looking at uh, building. Um, I mean, that's going to be, I mean, if you're impressed by anything we got here, then we're going to knock the socks off of that one, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's going to be a sight to see where it's going to be, we're going to be producing movies that, you know, are just a complete visual assault on all your senses. It's going to be amazing, I can assure you. Right, right. Okay, can't wait to see that. So, uh, the room, the two rooms you have now, if I could offer you the same reliability and speed that you have right now, with one room, but also saving you on your uh, your space and money. Is that be something you might be interested in? Well, I mean, come on, saving money always. Anyone's interested in something like that, but 
You said you mentioned only one room, right? Right, one room. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you could do that and have the same capacity, you'll do the same things. I don't see why I wouldn't be interested in something like that. Well, basically, uh, Berari's Blade Rack Systems, they have a new cooling technology. It's called uh, Inter Cooling Technology, where the, they're self-contained, and their they're one unit is cooled from beneath the units. So the airflow comes from the bottom up through the top of the system. Whereas the rooms that you have now, you have rear space heating. So I noticed that you have about three rolls of um, of uh, CGI systems right now, but in between each row is where your heat is. Uh, yes, my uh, CGI staff definitely uh, reminds me of how hot it gets from there. It's, but I mean, we pack them as we can. Mm -hmm. Like you said, sometimes space is limited. That's why one of the reasons why mm -hmm. we're expanding that new studio. Mm -hmm. And it's really, I mean, it's just, it's rather just it's an inconvenience, I'd say, for the staff, but it's really, as far as performance, it hasn't hampered anything we've been able to do here. Okay, and um, how, well, how much are you paying in the electric bills because of that? Oh, wow, just to uh, think about that. And just for those, just, just for air conditioning and power in those rooms. Yeah, just to operate. I'm going to take a little bit. I know, too. I'd say just about uh, just power the room and just handle the cooling and keep the lights on in there. I'd say it's running about a hundred grand or so a month. A hundred grand a month. Okay. Now, what if I could save you up to fifty percent? on your cooling uh, bill alone and your electric bill? Up to 50%. Up to 50%. 5-0. 5-0. I'm all here. Play it on me. Okay. Basically, uh, what, what you're paying now is $100,000 for your, uh, for your, yeah, for your bill. Give or take a little bit. Give or yeah. take. Okay. Now, with our Ferrari system, we're going to save you on your air conditioning bill and your electricity because you're not running as many systems. You're just running the one uh, blade rack system. Each blade rack system has 30. Uh, blade, and you can also do storage and uh, new data entry into one blade right system. So with that savings, you're going to save uh, 50000 per month. Okay, so we're going to take 50 k right off the back and multiply that times 12, which is, of course, a year. After a year, you're going to save $600,000 in your uh, electricity alone and your cooling. Now, what if every four years you could have a new computer system and we put the money in your pocket. How's that sound to you? Uh, sounds great. I mean, obviously, I need to tell you with you know costing in excess of two million dollars for upgrades and just getting all the parts together and getting the staff up to speed and everything like that. I mean, that sounds like quite a deal. A little too good to be honest. With you. It kind of almost scares me in a way. It's uh, I mean, Ferrari, you're not exactly you're not exactly HP. No, no disrespect. You're not exactly Dell. Right. I mean, you're not IBM. Right. These are, you know, Those companies ones. with enormous amount of resources, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm just a little scared by the, your lack of, you know, history and size. You're still relatively a new company, yes? Yeah, we're relatively new. So, I mean, it's, it's a little bit. Can you at least understand that I'm a little bit afraid by yeah, this? Yeah, I can understand that. You know, um, what do you? What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. Wow. Well, I've been here in Hollywood, man. You know i got to have that Mexican That's food. That's a good food. All right. So, uh, would you rather have food from a big, well-known conglomerate like Taco Bell, or would you rather go around the corner to a little small mom and pop place who has the, the great home-cooked Mexican food? Well, basically, basically you sold me right there. The great home-cooked uh, is going to dominate anything that Taco Bell is throwing off the assembly line. So. Exactly. But I exactly. kind of fail to see how this relates to million dollar computer servers. Well, basically you're comparing us to the Dells and the IBM of the world. And those guys are, you know, well known and everything. We are just a startup. Uh, well, we, we're we not as well known as them, but we do have some big clientele out there. Uh, NASA is using our system. And uh, George Lucas, who referred me to you, is using our system. In fact, he used it when he made Star Wars so free. You said NASA? Yeah, NASA. As in, like, let's put a man on the moon, NASA? NASA. That's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, and then you said George, too? Yep, George. He, 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 he thought he might want to use our product, so he, he recommended that we come by and see you and see if we might have something you would be interested in. You don't want to get left behind George Lucas, you know, he's a, he's a big well, tuna out here. I'm going to have a little chip shot with George. He failed to mention that, but that's definitely good to know. That's, Somewhat of a little security blanket makes you feel better if I mean uh, if uh, you know, the 
IQs of NASA are... If I, if I may sit back in my seat and gloat for a minute, uh, you don't want to be left behind. You know, some things are like a best kept secret, and I think this is one of George Lucas's best kept secrets. So you so you might want to hold out on me. You might want to get in on it. Well, not, no, he has to hold out only for long because now he's bringing you in. So <laughs> this might be something you want to get in on. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, well, we'll get back to him. We'll, we'll figure that thing okay. out for myself. Right. But thank you for bringing that to my attention. So, so back to your savings here. Um, you said we're going to save six hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, and every four <coughs> years you're going to receive a free upgrade. So after four years, that six hundred thousand becomes two point four million. So the two million that you are spending already on the uh, system, because it's two million for the system, mm -hmm. we're going to give you. You're going to save another four hundred thousand, which you can apply to whatever other needs you need in the house. All right. So what you're telling me is they're going to give me a free upgrade, pretty much, and you're going to put about three hundred four thousand four hundred thousand dollars back in the pocket Universal Studios. So you're yeah. basically paying me for a free upgrade. Paying you for a free upgrade. Okay. Well, I mean, I I really don't see how I can really argue that. So, I don't know, keep talking, I like what I'm hearing so far. Well, basically, now, um, if you were to get our system, one thing I, I didn't, I failed to tell you was, our system also is, uh, we have a forest system. Basically, when you're doing your shooting on location, like if you're in, I think a forest, I think I read about that somewhere, it's like a forest container? Forest containers, exactly. Yeah, I've heard a little bit something about that. Please, uh, sorry about you, please continue. Well, well uh, it's good you're doing your homework. It makes my job a lot easier. So, um, basically, if you're doing shop on location, usually with the systems we have now, you have to uh, make your film and everything and save your memory. Then you have to get a crew to transfer the memory to your new system, wherever you're going. There's a wait time involved. That usually one to two weeks. Whereas with our forest system, it's self-contained. It's, it's in its own container. It's self-cooled. And uh, you can enter your data and save your data in the system, have the entire system shipped to wherever you're going. So the only thing you have to wait for is your shipping day. Once you get there, you don't have to worry about downloading data or wait, waiting for your crew to uh, do their CGI magic. It's already ready for you to go. So you can take, you can basically take the entire service in as some sort of like mobile home kind of exactly. trailer kind of deal? Exactly. It's, 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 well, you can have it in your like the same area as your um, your other film production equipment, but of course it'll be self contained like you said, it's in its own trailer and it's uh, ready to go by the boost of it up to the generator. So it's interesting, you know, I this kind of work we're dealing with such, you know, expensive equipment, I probably feel a little more comfortable keeping it in house. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like, you know, we have problems as it is when it just comes with components breaking down and all that. I just that you're moving all the things around, especially if we're going on location halfway around the world, probably, you know, would probably give us more, and do more harm than I think it could. But it is, you know, definitely, appreciate you telling me about it. Let me know. It's uh, definitely something to consider in the future. Now, speaking of components breaking down, how, how is that working as far as your maintenance calls and everything with your current user? Well, like I said, when we've been dealing with uh, HP, both as a whole have been, you know, operated pretty well, but like I said, the service sometimes to coming out to maintain them has thrown us off schedule at times. And you know, when you're dealing with uh, you know high budget actors and stuff, it can be kind of hard keeping them on the set and out of trouble. And uh, so basically, I'd say like the longest time we've had to wait for someone to you know really come out. And you know, diagnose and fix one of our problems is maybe five days a week, and like I said, that's very that's very harmful for our schedule, making sure we're on time with things. Okay, so about how many people do you have that are technically um, savvy with this one? So actually, we have a crew of about a hundred people who are not people, so just the CGI staff. Okay, and uh, actually, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, you know. Supposedly switching from one service to the other. How much downtime are we looking at for training? I mean, we're going to need the studio is going to be up and running in probably about six months, I believe, is on schedule. So are we going to be able to have everything installed and you know my staff up to speed on that? Because you know just because we're opening up a new studio, I mean, it doesn't mean we're closing down the other one. We got to make movies here. I understand. I understand that. Well, I was getting to that point. Uh, we have we bring our staff to our executive office in San Diego. 
and the training will take one day. We'll have everyone trained up, and we'll have uh, models, everything for them to work with. Uh, it's a one-day seminar, basically, so if you can just uh, allow one day for them to come down. Now, we also have an expert uh, technical class. Now, if we can take up to 10 people in that class, that one's going to take about three days. But in the meantime, those will be your technical experts on the So we're looking at about 30 days or so for all 100 people on staff. they got to do the three days? Uh, we, we can get them out in about... You said 10, 10 people for yeah, No, no, 10 people are just for the master class. Yeah, well, obviously, you know, we want everybody to have support with the technology as possible. So we would obviously yeah, yeah, offer we can that. We can get them in, just keep the system going. We can get them in in uh, increments of... Uh, actually, for you, we can do it... A little bit of a wrong side, we can get about 20 for the day. Okay. We can hurry up and get you out of there. Right. I appreciate that kind of uh, action. Thank you. Small company, big product. <laughs> nice little model you put together. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, well, you know, you know, it sounds like it's a pretty good deal, but, um, you know, I've actually read an article that I saw on April 8th that uh, your company is actually announcing that's going to release some... Uh, Massively dense unified system that's uh, basically like a new type of blade. I think I read somewhere that it's going to be like the actual towers that hold them are smaller and they can hold like 90 blades or something. Mm -hmm. If I was going to go in the contract and I know with blade rack, you know, blade rack servers mm -hmm. that there's vendor lock in, so we'd be stuck with seven foot towers. <coughs> Is uh, would, would should we sit and wait for the other one or? So we are, like, what would you recommend? How much better performance are we looking at? How much space we've seen? And well, of course, you're going to say space and these towers are a little bit smaller. Um, but with technology, everything's changing every day. The only thing you're going to uh, lose pretty much is just the uh, space size. You're going to add more racks, which, of course, going to add more memory. Um, as far as being locked into the system, when we want to do the initial install, uh, it's good to go. If that technology, right now they're working on that technology, we don't have an exact date of when it's going to come out, but... Uh, yeah, and then I, obviously since it would be a new technology, it's, it hasn't been out in the field, it hasn't been really field tested, I imagine, right? So, kind of staying with the bread and butter with that and possibly make more sense, or... I mean, I, I don't want to be a guinea pig here, like, we can't afford that, especially with vendor lock-in. I mean, if right. this thing comes right. out, it's a dud. Well, that's what I was... We're stuck between that a part. rock and a hard place. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that, that release date is not set in stone. We still have to, you know, we still have research going on that. But it's something just to be worried that it's coming. Um, but as far as when it's released, it'll be compatible with the same system you have. It should be a need to upgrade to the system because you're going to be going on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. with that. Would that possibly possibly upgrade to that those servers in the future? Would that be included in like the service upgrade you're talking about the free? Like, could we right. do that? I mean, I'm assuming uh, well, it wouldn't be free, you, but we'd be saving up money. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah, so since you're already a customer, you're pretty much grandfathered in. That's part of the other. Right, now we're good somewhere. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, that makes you feel. Good warm and fuzzy, I'm uh, <laughs> definitely on that right track. Right, I mean, okay. uh, once you're going to drop some kind of bomb, I'm still kind of waiting for it about, you know, the pitfall that's going to come from it. But from everything I've heard, and I have read a little bit about it, it sounds to be good, especially if, you know, institutions like NASA, and, you know, my buddy George are working with, um, <laughs> I see no reason why we can't uh, get this contract done with. And, you know. Okay, so let's just... Uh, Make sure we have everything that, that you are happy that you need for yourself. We're going to put your system in one room. You're going to have one system, um, one tower with uh, 30 blade racks in it. Uh, free upgrade every four years. And I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be sorry to interrupt you. I thought it was going to be 30 probably about 30 servers with 70 racks or 70 blades of them. Yeah, 70 blades with 30 servers. Right, right. Double check and it seems to be what we can say probably not right, 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 exactly. Then uh, my CGS staff is going to be going to be pretty uh, impressed. We managed to put all that computing power in just one room, and they're going to be able to do you know what they want. With, you know these services that do obviously in our mobile and everything, so we can move in there. Yeah, they can do whatever they want to do with them. So all we need to do is uh, work out an arrangement 
once we get your staff down for our uh, training. And uh, other than that, the uh, lockdown down price is going to be two million for the install and everything included in that. And uh, we're going to also give you the customer service. You're going to have to be able to get in contact with us 24 hours a day. Someone's going to be in call to respond to your uh, needs and we'll be with you within 48 hours. We can't guarantee that. So we won't have that five day wait around time that you had with uh, people covered. All right, sounds good. Let's uh, so tell me where it's done. All right, we have a contract here. And uh, this contract also has the uh, warranty, which is a uh, two-year warranty, which is included in the price that you have. And all I need you to do is uh, go over it and sign here. And uh, that's all you have to do. It's this blue pen because blue pen is what we need to have a legal contract. Um, I these things every day, right? Take care of that, but... Sounds good. All right, looks like we are in the uh, business of making movie magic. Hopefully we'll see you in the seats, huh? Hopefully I will see you on big screen. You won't see me. You won't want me on big screen. <laughs>